and uh, sure enough, he's missing a finger, and I'm like, this is going to be good. Welcome to Matt's Garage and Car Stories with Matt. So I wanted to tell the story of my uh, driver's exam, actually, because I ended up taking my driver's exam three times, unfortunately. And uh, there's a bit of a amusement involved in, in both of my failures because, um, firstly, I took my uh, my first exam in our family's uh, 1988 Nissan pickup, a little a single cab uh, truck that I, I mentioned in a few stories before. And I was, uh, you know, I'd gotten used to driving it and all that, and it was an automatic, so it seemed like the easy choice because our other vehicle in the family was a, a five-speed at the time. And uh, so I took that there and, um, you know, we had to go to another another town. There was no driver's exam in our little town, so we had to go about 45 minutes away. And, and so my dad took me there and, um, you know, right away I could tell the driver's examiner was kind of one of those pinheaded type people like I... I remember I accidentally called him, referred to him as a driver's instructor, and he goes, I'm a driver's examiner. And so I'm like, oh no, already off to a bad start here. And then uh, that kind of just made me nervous. So I remember I messed up on the parallel parking a little bit. Like I didn't get it on the first try, but at least I did get it on the second try. And uh, then I think there might have been something else that I messed up a little, but I... I would have passed had it not been for this one thing. I, I ended up going uh, over the speed limit through the school zone. And uh, the reason for this was because they had just lowered the, the speed limit in school zones in Saskatchewan like uh, a week before or less. And um, they hadn't yet got to our small town to lower our speed limit in our school zone. So I was not aware of this. And uh, I went that what I thought was the speed limit, because if you go too slow, that can be an issue too. They can accuse you of impeding traffic or something. So I figured conditions were ideal. I should be going the speed limit through the school zone. So I failed that test because of that. And then uh, the second test, I was feeling more confident. And one of the reasons why I'd messed up the parallel park in the truck was because they have quite a overhang at the back and I found it harder to judge where the, the back bumper was in relation to the wheel and stuff and so I actually decided to take the manual. We had a uh, a 93 Nissan Pathfinder at the time my parents did with the five speed and uh, and so I took that. I was actually, uh, I had been practicing on it quite a bit and I uh, was really confident so I went there and uh, I aced everything. I, I went the exact speeds. I, I nailed the parallel parking. I didn't have a single point taken off until literally like the last corner I had to make a left turn onto the main road from a side street. And I checked for traffic. This was a really busy main road. So you know what? We were sitting there for a minute checking traffic and there's crosswalks. And uh, so checking crosswalks, but just as I, I was clear to go, and just as I'm going, one of my classmates from school comes walking down the, the sidewalk and right in front of me, just as I was had already left the stop line, but he was coming on the other road, and I just didn't see him in time, and I had just crossed the stop line, so it was an instant fail because I ended up with my front end out into traffic and a, a car ended up waiting on me. So, you know, I was impeding traffic and it was an instant fail. And uh, so then the next time I went back um, and I, I took the little Nissan truck again this time. And uh, one of the kids from school had passed earlier that day and he mentioned that the guy who passed him was missing a finger, I believe, a thumb, I think, and uh, and so right away when I got there, and he said the guy was really easy going and stuff, so right away when I got there, I'm looking <laughs> at the examiner's fingers, and uh, sure enough, he's missing a finger, and I'm like, this is going to be good, and uh, it was. I uh, I actually did mess up a few things. I think I got like six points off, and you were allowed ten, but 
I passed and I got my license and uh, was able to be one of the cool kids and drive drive to school then. So that was that was nice. So thanks a lot for watching Car Stories with Matt. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourself a great day.